the first arcade stick that I own came with this game. Coincidentally, this was also the first limited edition or special or collector's edition, whatever you want to call it, game for my PS3. Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger limited edition for PS3. And there it is, folks. Now, this limited edition was only available in Australia. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if New Zealand also got some copies, uh, but I bought this uh, in EB Games 2 Wong in Brisbane, Australia, while I was there back in 2010. So, the PS3 version of this limited ed edition game receives a free arcade stick, as you can see here, right? Uh, also noting that this arcade stick was not sold separately, so you have to buy it like this in the limited um, edition uh, uh, version. Now, alternatively, if you bought the Xbox 360 version, you only get two controller faceplates along with the game. So, same box, different content, right? Now, let's take a look around the box quickly. Um, there's the front, and obviously, you know, the sides has the, uh, the Blaze Blue logo. The back of it, right, shows you all the high scores in this game. Uh, limited edition, uh, you've got there 100, 100, 94, and 90. Uh, some of the game features in there, uh, a couple of screenshots, and there we are. There's the back of it, right? So let's open it up and see what's inside. And there we are. So you've got the Blu-ray disc uh, case and also the arcade stick. So let's open it up and here we are. So let's go ahead and see what we get here. So first things first, the DVD, the sorry, the Blu-ray case, right, for PS3 Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger. Um, there it is, there's the back of it, right, uh, cover. If we open it up, obviously you get the PS3 disc, Blu-ray disc, uh, you get the booklet right there, now, like I said, uh, most games nowadays, they don't get these types of booklets, but there it is, right? You've got the table of contents, uh, the controller layout there, uh, story, game screen, controls, fighting system, fight, uh, rolls, rapid cancel, whatnot, more fighting systems, astral heat, guard libras, counter assault, modes, different, all the different modes, story modes, training modes, gallery mode, rank match, network mode, match results, ranking, oh, there's the key decodes, oh, it's got a page on the characters, there we are, uh, looks like this is everyone, uh, credits warranty, and finally, there's the back of it, right, so there it is, there is, that is the uh, Blu-ray disc, now please note that this is a region 4 uh, Blu-ray disc, so it's a, I believe region 4 is Australia, Oceani Oceania, uh, so Australia, New Zealand, uh, and, and the rest, right? There we are. Now, what else is here? So we get the Power Wave. So this arcade stick, this is the Power Wave arcade stick. So there it is. There's the booklet, PlayStation 3, compatible, as you can see. Uh, part description, install connection, operation, whatnot. This particular controller is a USB uh, controller. There we are, right? Uh, there's the... USB connector. Uh, it's nice and compact. It's got a compact form, which I, which I like. You can you can hold. Oh well, I guess if you want to, you can hold it in your hand and play with your, you know, with your thumbs. Uh, it is it is clicky, as you can see here. Um, does get annoying after a while. Uh, it has suction cups down the bottom, so you can, you know, put it down, uh, you know, on on a table on a flat uh, table uh, surface, and you know it won't go anywhere because of the suction cups. Um, now. To be honest with you, this is not the best controller, right? The, not the best arcade stick out there. Uh, even though this is my first one, I've played uh, many games with this, including, um, well, most of my earlier fighting games on the PS3, I played with this uh, arcade stick. The, um, the one drawback that, uh, that, I, that, that's, that this arcade stick has is when you're pressing the directional, um, the, the joystick itself, if you, if you want to go, let's say, jump, you want to, you know, jump forward. If you're in the player one position, you want to press up forward, right? Now, sometimes 
well, when I say sometimes, I mean most of the time, you have to actually press hard. So you gotta put a little, little bit of force, not too much, a little bit of force in order for the character to jump. So there's a bit of, um, there's a bit of an issue with, uh, I guess with the input, sometimes. I mean, yeah, I would say most of the time, as far as I can remember. Similarly with the um, with the face buttons as well, the you know square, triangle, X circle, L1, L2, R1, R2. You got to press it really hard. And the other thing is that that annoys me is because of the size of the buttons. Um, you know, you'll see you see this is you know this is small. Look at my thumb, right? I'm I'm an average uh, size person. Well, actually, not really an average. I'm I'm pretty small, uh, short. These are small, so. If you're in the heat of the battle um, and you can accidentally press two buttons at once, or you can end up pressing the wrong button because it's because of the close proximity to each other, right? But again, you know, this is my first arcade stick, and um, yeah, I, I played quite a bit on it, and it's um, it served me well. I played I played Street Fighter Four, I believe, uh, with my friend in Singapore using that arcade stick, and I struggled hard because of issues with the input, as I as I mentioned before, but. You know, it was fun because A, I got to play with a friend of mine, and B, I got to use an arcade stick. Right? Now, in terms of the quality itself, I don't know if you can see this, but if you let, take a look at the edge of this, right? Um, there it is. There's some, some imperfections on the paint, uh, on the color. So you see this white line here, white line there, and a little bit of white line there. So uh, the paint the paint of it, it's, it's, not, yeah, it's not the greatest. But I mean, Besides, it's, that's just cosmetics, isn't it? So there's, there's, it doesn't affect the way you play the game, and um, obviously, you know, it doesn't affect the 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 input. But you know, if you, if you're into these sorts of things, if if you if little things like this annoy you, then that'll really annoy the crap out of you, right? Uh, these lights here are obviously that'll, that'll they will tell you which player you're on. So obviously, one light's player one, two lights player two, second light, etc. Right? Um, again, yeah, it's clicky. It's got a Select home and start button. Uh, you know, it's got a nice artwork there. Uh, I don't see any fading. I would say because I've kept this in well, obviously indoors away from the sun. Now, <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend using the stick for pro tournament use. Uh, use it for a casual match with your friends, and you know if you're playing single player. But then again, if Luffy can use a PS1 controller and win the 2014 Evo tournament, so can anyone using the arcade stick. Remember, kids. Practice makes perfect. But besides all that, it's still a pretty good, you know, it's decent uh, arcade stick to have. If especially if you're a Blaze Blue fan, uh, fan uh, it's a must-have. It's, it's pretty rare. I've I haven't seen one out there. Um, you know, it, well in this condition anyway, right? Um, you know, besides the imperfection there. But uh, yeah, there we have, it, folks. Uh, my Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger Limited Edition for PS3, which comes with the game itself and this neat little arcade stick. The second Blaze Blue game in my collection is Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Limited Edition for the PS3. Now, yeah, I tried my best to keep the condition of the box in tip top shape, but alas, I wasn't able to prevent wear from the edge edges. Uh, still, it's it's not bad, you know, for its age, right? Here we are. So here's the box itself, right? I like the black, um, you know, feel to it. Just the Blaze Blue logo and the word Limited Edition down the bottom here. Uh, the back of it. There we are. Uh, it shows you what this game includes. Uh, you get the game itself, a limited edition, 86 page full color booklet featuring concept sketches and artwork never before seen outside. Developers, uh, Arc System Works Studios. Um, a series of eight exclusive quality art prints featuring scenes from the Blaze Blue universe and a collectible reference guide guides for Continuum Shift's diverse character roster. And again, now this is a region two. Now, can't remember what region two is. Um, I believe it's the um, Americas, uh, or maybe even yeah. Uh, oh, it's it's Asia. I think it's Asia, right? But um, yeah, someone uh, if someone can correct me on that, um, put in the comments. I'll I, I, you know I appreciate it. Anyway, let's open it up and see what we get inside. Yeah. Okay. So. First thing you get is obviously the CD, right? The, well, the the, the Blu-ray disc, uh, Blu-ray case. Now, I like I said it before, <clears throat> I actually like this cover. Logo on a black background looks premium, right? Mint. Look at that. Okay. And again, this is similar to what the box uh, showed you before. 
when we open it up, uh, you get the Blaze Blue Blu-ray disc. Um, you also get the booklet here. Right. Uh, there's, there's the first page. Contents, how to start the game, controls, game screen, limited warranty, and all that jazz. And a blank page, I guess, for um, if you want to note down any, any moves or super moves or whatever. And there's the back of it. Okay. So, there's the game. Now, next up is the art book. There it is, the art book, and I believe this is the 86 page one, The Art of Blaze Blue. Continuum Shift, right, there's the back of it. Um, going through it very quickly. Right, uh, forward there in, uh, I don't know what language that is. There we are, I'm guessing this, I'm starting to guess this is now Europe, uh, if it's two. There's some artwork there, some more artwork. Some sketches. Just a few of those. Ooh. And some random sketches from, I'm guessing, the, uh, the developers. <clears throat> there we are. And there is the art book. Now, <laughs> you are in for a treat. This will be the very first time I have ever opened the contents of this plastic sleeve, right? There's, I've never opened this before, so uh, yeah, like I said, this will be the first time. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh well, that's a tough open. And here we are, these are all the art artworks, uh, there's the first one there. Uh, let's go through um, one by one, uh, just looking at the front, right? I'm guessing that's uh, the other way around. Oop, oh, here it is the other way around. Okay, so now the back of it contains, it looks like, it contains all the super moves. Well, the moves for all the characters. And the last one, there we are. And that's it for this video, folks. Um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. There will be more videos coming up showcasing my gaming collections, and it'll be most likely limited editions, collector's editions, special editions. So, um, yeah, see you in the next video.